I did suggest in my 3x3x2 video that it might be the last puzzle printed on my Ender 2 Pro because I wanted to upgrade my 3D printer to a Bamboo Labs but I still don't have the resources or time to do so and I end up printing up another puzzle with it. My 3x3x4 looks exactly like a MOI product from 2014 or 15, and it uses actual Outlong stickers. A handful of stickers are slightly different in terms of the shape. A set of 3x3 stickers obviously can't cover a 3x4 face, but um, I still really wanted to use the Outlong stickers and I only have one set. But overall, if you don't pay too much attention, and especially when the puzzle is scrambled, it's not that obvious and I still generally like how this puzzle looks. It's a throwback to the time where I actually started speed cubing. So I first learned to solve a cube in 2008, but it's not until 2014 where I started to learn all the advanced methods and get into the hardware. And back then, Shengshou was the dominant brand, but Moyi has just emerged and they are progressively taking over. Pretty much a Moyi fan since then. Like My second favourite cube brand changed a bunch of times, but my favourite one is still Moyi from 2014 until now. And like the original Aosu to me is like the Rubik's 3x3 to Tony Fisher in some way, in terms of sentimental value. While I was intentionally trying to replicate the look of a Moi cube from that era, I still UV coated over the stickers just to prevent them from chipping or peeling. And for those of you who don't know, original 2014 Moi stickers will actually move around if you play with the puzzle and the heat from your hands warms up the adhesive and then the stickers can slightly slide around because I UV coated over the puzzle, this is more or less impossible. I also did the UV coating twice, mainly because the first coat was quite uneven so I sanded it flat and coated again. It's still not as flat as I want to but I do think the double coating did help. The first coat, after it's sanded down, it, it provided a rough surface for the second coat to bond to. So I'm... The mechanism of the puzzle screams 2014 Moi just as much as the outer appearance does. Most 3x3x4s use the mechanism of a Rubik's 3x3, obviously this is not a Rubik's 3x3, I'm just using it for demo. But they will cut the outer layer on one axis into two layers each, of course, on both sides, which gives you a 3x3x5, and as you know in cube mechanism, 4 is just 5 with a hidden middle layer. My 3x3x4 is designed more like a Moi outsuit with pieces fused together, so obviously like on this, this will, will be 5 layers, with, including the hidden middle one, then I fuse the outer two like that. So I'm going to do a piece comparison. Uh, as you can tell, obviously the hits would be different because it's physically a different puzzle on the outside but if you look at the shape of the roots it's more or less identical to a Moi Aosu so here's the corner of the 3x3x4 stacked up against a corner and two wings from the Aosu over here the wing of the 3x3x4 is equivalent to a wing and two centers on the Aosu the T-center is pretty much the same and then this edge that goes on the outer area here actually a midge with a T-center glued onto it the core is from an old generation Aosu. I actually sacrificed a mini Aosu to make this puzzle. For those of you who have known my channel well enough, uh, I actually have two copies of this puzzle. Um, I have a newer one in 2017, which has primary internals instead of whites, and this one just turns a lot better. While I have an older one in tw from 2015, which actually one of the corners are broken, and I didn't fix it for 10 years. I actually ordered a replacement part and specified mini Aosu in the order, but somehow I got the regular Aosu corner instead of the mini Aosu, and then I just tried to send it down, but it's... the puzzle actually isn't WCA league. Right, at that time, we actually only had one comp every year, so like I actually didn't really have to care about uh, WCA legality for a whole year, and by then, I <laughs> there was a new 4x4 out, I think it was the Guan Su or something, and then I, I went to main that cube. I actually opted to print a handful of pieces in whole rather than in parts. So some of them are, like, are printed in two halves, but there's a risk that you will glue one half slightly higher than the other and make the piece bigger. Uh, I tried not to do that on the centers, and as you can see, the centers actually have a flat surface here. So this is my 3D printer print bit, and the pieces need some, some orientation to sit on. So I printed the centers like that so that there's enough surface to grab on the print bit and it wouldn't suddenly detach when I'm printing but I do think that this cavity caused by this design choice actually caused a bit of lockups the alignment mechanism of the 3x3x4 is actually identical to what I did to my 3x3x2 basically one of the wing pieces or in this on in the 3x3x2's case it's a corner piece it's fused together with the hidden internal midge whenever you turn the layer on this axis see um, it, it is able to misalign because I took the piece out 
but, but of course if I put the piece back in, every time I turn this layer, now it drags the middle layer a bit and it never misaligns. One notable thing is that the 3x3x2 can actually do illegal moves. Although, due to how this is designed, the amount of illegal moves you can do is less than the mass produced ones. Whereas with the 3x3x4, the same illegal moves are completely impossible, and that's because the centerpieces are physically taller than the overhanging parts that hide the middle layer. I've also gone with RC Pongo's center cap design uh, due to the limitations of how 3D printing works. Um, the exact details of how I designed this is identical to what I've done in my 3x3x2 and you can refer to that video if you want to see the whole story. When it comes to the magnets, the vertical faces are actually edge center magnetized. So you can see a magnet right on the edge and then there are actually four magnets inside the center cap that attract to these edges. So this means that there are actually only two magnets for the vertical faces and I use much bigger and stronger magnets for the compared to what I did on the horizontal faces. So this ensures that I only get clicks at 180 degrees and not at 90 because this puzzle is not meant to shape shift. But of course the horizontal axis are the ones that are designed to do 90 degree turns and they go with the conventional corner to edge magnetization. So for here the magnets for the corners, the magnet is just down here. I, I don't want the direct contact, so I actually cut a tunnel and shove the magnet all the way in. Middle layer is magnetized in the same way the triple track also V7 is magnetized, minus the third track. I think having a foot magnet is extra, but getting the magnets to uh, getting the wings to attract to the midge as opposed to getting the wings to attract to each other. So like you can tell they don't attract to each other because the magnet is here. I feel like this one has more meaning because of the repulsion issue. You can refer to my Aosu V7 video uh, to know what the repulsion issue is. But uh, unfortunately the magnets that I use here on the horizontal axis are a little bit too weak. Which also, yeah, my 3x2 has magnets that are too weak overall as well. The performance of this puzzle is not as good as I hope. It can corner cut a bit in both directions. But still not enough to get rid of catches entirely. I still get quite a lot of catches in my saws. Um, especially on this layer. Um, the texture is what you would expect from a 3D printed puzzle. It's super rough like out of the box, but it's I mean it's super rough out of the printer but um, it smooths out over time, but still it doesn't reach the smoothness of an actual mass produced puzzle. So overall it's a fun puzzle, nothing too mind blowing. It's a nice way to expand my cuboid collection while recycling the screws and core of a puzzle that I have duplicates of and I don't even use it anymore because it's really outdated and I'm quite pleased with the result of this cuboid.